men's shirt refashion ideas that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, I'm Colleen Julie and I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas to refashioning clothing. And let's get started. You're going to need an old pair of jeans and a man's shirt. The first thing I'm going to do is to remove the zip. Next step is to cut off the top section of the jeans. You're going to need a sewing gauge and I'm using chalk as a marker. Get my scissors and start cutting. I'm going to add the patch pockets to the front of the shirt so I'm going to cut all the way around about 2.5 centimeters an inch all the way around so it gives me some room to have a stitch line and also for it to fray and look amazing time for the patch pockets place it here it's about 2.5 centimeters away from this edge here Line it up with the buttonhole, the top part buttonhole, and I'm going to sew all the way around. Now working on the back of the shirt, place a pin to the desired length where you want your gathering effect to take. I'm going to gather all of the back and some of the front to about here. I'm going to put a crease mark in to make it easier for me to do the gathers. Now starting the gathering stitch, I'm just going to put it onto the largest length. Do check my video description for an in-depth video tutorial on how to sew gathers. Now it's time to create the gathers, pulling from under Make sure it's all nice and even. The gathers are now beautifully evenly distributed, roughly. Um, I have gathered mostly the front and all the way around the back and also the other side as well. So the next step is to place the top half of the jeans onto the side seam of the shirt and this is a side seam of the jeans and place that just in between those stitches of the gathers and then what I'm going to do then is start sewing on my sewing machine from that point all the way around making sure this is sewn into position. Now pinned into position and ready to be sewn on a sewing machine. Go slowly, making sure that you don't disturb the gathers too much. Because there's a lot of bulk here, so to the point of where, let me just show you an example here, and if your machine is struggling to get over this, kind of, there's a lot of bulk there, then use your hand wheel and just do it by hand. It's worth it because it's going to be a gorgeous top when it's done. So the top part of the jeans is now part of the shirt. This is the back. This is what the front looks like. But I 
and it. It will go like that. The next step, the jeans. Back to the jeans. So this section here, I'm going to add this to the collar. So I'm just going to cut along here and I want this red detail to be on the collar as well. So I'm just going to cut along there, all the way there and up to there. And I have a pair, just need to get the collar. And it's just a case of playing around with placing this onto the collar to make sure that you're happy with the placement. I can't sew that because look at all that thickness. So they're going to have to be two separate pieces. I'm going to place it on the collar like so, making sure this red feature here is near the point of the collar. And then I'm going to sew it in place, only where it actually folds. I won't be sewing that, that's going to be cut away. The two pieces are now sewn onto the collar, and as you can see, there's a gap here. That doesn't matter, it's just part of this feature to this project. So the next thing is to, is to I'm going to sew on the wrong side of the collar, and I'll explain that. A little mo in, a, in a moment. So I'm going to pin and then I'm going to remove those pins when I take it to the sewing machine. Follow the shape of the collar, the fall it's referred to as. Stitch into the original line that I can see on the collar as much as I possibly can. Yes. Basically, it's just following the shape of the collar. Stop. And pivot. And the pin. And continue sewing. So I'm going to sew the lower section of the collar. Just working on one half of the collar at the moment. So before. You actually come to the break here, I'm going to sew along here. It is now sewn onto the collar. You just need to cut away this excess, excess here. This is too much. You just need your scissors. Just cut quite close to the stitch line. And just repeat it on the other side. Now for the armbands, I'm going to be using the bottom of the jeans leg. I'm going to cut quite close to make a little nick. Put my scissors in and work quite close to this edge here. I've got it all the way around with this. So, here, just sew this section here and hand sew this to there so this stays in place. The hem and the pants have now been sewn on for this sleeve detail, machine stitched, and now it's ready to be hand sewn. I'm now going to into position, just going to open this up fold back bottom section my hand into the sleeve and then I am going to get a needle and thread and hand sew I'll be just using a slip stitch in order to do this do check my video tutorial description is in the link is in the description below this video to the end of this project and now I just want to include some denim on the cuff section of this gorgeous contemporary shirt. So this detail here, I'm going to have it on the turn back cuff, so I'm going to cut that shape out and repeat it on the other side. Okay, you're going to place the 
denim onto the cuff section, the lower part of the cuff. Place it in position like so. Place pins all the way around to keep it in place. And then you'll be ready to take it to the sewing machine. You're going to sew on the wrong side because that way you'll get a good stitch line because you've got the original sewing in which to sew. I'm going to start from here. So project is now complete. See what you can do with a man shirt and an old pair of jeans. Let me just give you a little twirl so you can see the back. And this is what you call contemporary fashion. It's aesthetically pleasing, I can wear it, I can feel comfortable in it and yeah, it does feel good. So yes, that's it, the project is now complete. Please check the video tutorial description with all the video tutorials and also the supplies you're going to need for this project. So I'll put that information in the description below, so please do check on those. If you are inspired with this project, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any ideas for all pair of jeans and men's shirts, put them in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.